So let's make some orange peel shrimp. I want to make this recipe for you for so long. Let's start with one pound of shrimp, deveining clean and dry. And here I added a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch. You can substitute for tapioca starch. Uh, kind of mix it up and make sure it's all coated. I like kind of like light it, you know, you can add more, you wait for it to dry up and add more if you want to. You can add salt. I think the shrimp is salty enough that I like the sweetness of it, so I don't add any more, but you're welcome to add more salt. So I'm going to use one orange. Um, I like, you know, the, the tangy taste of the orange, so I grate it out. Uh, some good, you know, small bits and some big bits. And I also like a little bit of, um, you know, crunchiness, and uh, that's about a tablespoon-ish. You know, the more, it's up to you. You can do one or two. But um, I also get all these juice and the, the pulps out. I love the pulps. And I just, I mean, I, I like to scrape everything up. Nothing left behind. The orange is so good. And I also kind of skin the, the, the orange a little bit. And I like a little bit of the skin itself, you know, for presentation. But it has a little bit of a tangy taste and a little, a little bit of bitterness. But like, you know, throw it in the stir fry. Why not? There I go. Maybe like a couple of tablespoons there. So with this, I'm going to use also like a, a tablespoon of grated ginger. Um, just get as much as you can. It doesn't have to be, you know, precisely, but I, it come out to be about a tablespoon. I love garlic, so I'm adding about a couple of cloves of garlic, nicely minced to release the aroma. That's probably about a tablespoon. So in here, I also add a, about a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of sugar and about a two tablespoon of soy sauce. I like a little stickiness, so I added in like a tablespoon of honey and you know stir it up or you've had you whisk, you whisk it up and then set it aside. I tasted it and it's kind of like a little bit of salty, a little sweetness. So I'm good with it. I'm gonna use my big old wok <laughs> on high heat. Uh, this is leftover uh, oil from uh, egg roll, so I'm just gonna reuse this and strain it out and try to coat my wok and make sure uh, all the woks are kind of, um, you know, coated with some oil, make sure it doesn't burn. That looks like it's ready there. That's a test piece. And here we go. Let's get into the pool of oil so drop in there nice and slow you don't want to splash it on you and you can pan fry this i just happen to have leftover oil so i kind of want, want to fry it real quick i want it to be high heat um, you kind of like move it around you kind of split it up um, because the the stickiness of the starch is kind of trying to stick together and give it a um a an even amount of oil around the shrimp so you can cook it evenly. So you want to cook this probably about a, a minute or uh, not even two minutes because you don't want to cook it too too long. The shrimp becomes tough and rubber band. I do not like rubber band shrimp. So remove the shrimp and drain it out and then set it aside. I left a little bit of oil, maybe like a, a tablespoon, and I'm going to just release all these aroma, you know, dump everything in and stir fry it around for about a couple of minutes until everything is kind of a little bit of uh, turn color, like dried up and uh, maybe a little bit of brown around the corner, not black. Black will be bitter. So then you can just pour in the rest of your sauce or the sauce. And cook it, you know, for about a couple of minutes when it gets thick enough. Toss back your shrimp and keep tossing and tossing until it's dry. And then we just turn it off the heat when everything is nice and coated. Super easy, right? Quick and simple. And there we have it. Sprinkle some green onions or something, you know, oregano or whatever you have. 
just for the contrast it looks so great um it's so sticky and it smells gorgeous in the house to i tell you it smells gorgeous and look at the shrimp it's it's well coated it is great just by itself as a snack or if you like me eat it with rice and i like the orange peel so i like to eat the peel itself some folks don't like it because it's a little bit you know bitter but you can keep going with this one after one after one it's not salty it's a little bit sweet it's just just right very savory and flavorful i hope you enjoyed this recipe give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe for future vietnamese asian home cook gardening and more i'll talk to you next time bye bye